hello there it's derek and welcome and welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm just going to be sharing with you some basic settings you need to know in this signal app so first of all when you click the three dots right here you're going to see new group mark all red invite friends and settings so when you just want to create a group you just hit on new group like this and then you hit on your friend's name maybe the person you want to add in the group and then you hit on this arrow right here and then you're going to put in your group name and it's just gonna create it's like how you do create groups on whatsapp and you are good to go so this is how it's gonna be so now it's you and your friend who is in the group and you're just gonna see them like this so you've not invited anyone you can just copy the group link right here and then you turn it on like this and then you generate the link and then you can just share to people or you can copy and then share to people like that and that is very cool so basically that is how you create a group with signal so the next thing we want to know is we're going to hit on settings like this and then we check through right here so first of all when you hit on sms and mms you can just turn this app into your default sms app right your default sms app which your phone is going to use in sending you messages and all so that is basically what you need to know and then notification is where you can just check out your notification panel how you want everything to display to you your default sounds you want to get if you want to make the app vibrate you can just turn it on if you want to disable notifications so you can just disable it and that is very cool you can just turn off in sound app too like how whatsapp do have its in sound app and this is privacy settings too we have screen lock right here so when you turn the screen lock right here like this it's gonna just turn the lock right here so when you hit on lock signal it's gonna just lock the signal and it's gonna use your default lock you are using on your phone so that is basically how the screen locks works and you can set a timeout to when you turn it on maybe you want it to turn off or turn on in like an hour or something you can just set a timer and it's gonna just work perfectly for you so when it comes to screen security you are just gonna be able to just block screenshots in this application so when you turn this one on and maybe we go back like this and we try screenshotting something in this app or a message in this app is going to give us a notification that we are not going to be able to just screenshot so it was like couldn't save screenshot taking screenshot isn't allowed by this app or your organization so meaning we turn on that settings and we, no one is going to be able to just screenshot any chats on this app when you just put your phone somewhere maybe someone accidentally slip through your messages and want to screenshot something they wouldn't be able to screenshot any message when it comes to incognito keyboard this is something you need to know maybe you go install any keyboard and you are trying to just use it you see this incognito keyboard this right here this right here is gonna make everything secured for you that nothing or no data from your phone or your chat will be sent to the app owner i mean the the owner of that keyboard app you know a lot of people do install keyboards and then use it on their phone so with this incognito it's going to just help you secure this side of your phone and then you wouldn't get anyone spying on your chats okay so always really call cool. this is a side i think you just don't need to turn on because when you enable it it's going to reduce your call quality which you know everybody don't like it like that red receipt is just like how we just do have blue text on whatsapp so when people read your messages you're going to see a double tick right there and that is basically how it works right here so typing indicators are just making you know when someone is typing a message to you and basically we already know how typing indicators work and preview link that is when someone send a link to you you can just preview it in the app and that is very cool or maybe when you want to send something to someone you can preview the link in the app and know how or what the link is about so when it comes to block users i know a lot of people are going to use this block users are basically where you see people you've blocked and that is very cool so sealed sender is one part of the security system in this app which is very cool so you can allow anyone to send you a sealed messages and that is very cool too so this is a very cool app we need to just check out okay so when we come to signal pin that is the pin i told you in my previous video where you can just add a pin and then when you sign up with the app it's basically just gonna ask you or when you open the app it's gonna ask you to input the pin which is gonna be a bit secured because people can pick your phone somewhere and they would want to spy something and with this pin it's gonna just restrict them from just entering into your messages and that is very cool so when you turn on pin reminder that is the next settings right here it's gonna give you a hint when probably maybe you forget your 
pain and you want to get a reminder somewhere and it's going to allow you to just recover your pain very easily so when you add registration lock and your next sign up on another phone you're going to be able to use or you're going to be able to just get every settings you had on your phone previously that is basically cool with this one and appearance too we can just check out the default themes and light you can turn on to light and then you can turn on to dark or you can turn you can use the system default and that is cool languages you can change to your language if you are in any country you can just change it to the language you speak or which languages you think is very cool for you and that is basically very very cool and chat and media you can choose to just turn on when you want to get auto downloads of data that is videos documents that are being sent to you that is the settings basically depends on you just like how we do on whatsapp and that is very cool so if you want to turn on auto downloads you just have to tick all this if you don't want to turn auto downloads you just untick them and then click on ok then it wouldn't download anything when it's been sent to you i think i prefer on checking it because you might not want to just download things just like that when you don't even know it like that so you can use system emoji if you feel like you want to use it that will disable signal inbuilt emojis which we don't want because you know some apps do have their emojis that are very cool and if you disable it, it's not really going to make it very nice so when you come to storage that is where you're going to see how this app is using your phone storage this is where you're going to see it and you can just check through and if you want to clear message history you hit on this side and then you're going to be able to delete everything and it's going to make your phone very very free because it's not going to keep all messages and block your space okay so when it comes to link devices you can link your laptop and your phone together so that you'll be able to use both apps when you link the app you are going to be able to send messages from your phone to the laptop whilst you wouldn't have to just worry because when someone types or someone sends you a message and then maybe your phone is away from you you can still reply the person using your laptop and that is basically cool with this application and this is help and then this is advanced and you can see your number you used and then you can just change your pin if you want to disable your pin you can just disable it right here if you want to delete your account too you can just delete your account right here and this is the side if you want to donate to the owner of the app you can just click the side and then donate some cents to the app i think it's worth it and that is basically something you need to know so if you hit on this side the pencil the blue pencil right here and then you hit on note to self and then you type in maybe hello it's going to send a message to any device you've synced with the phone you've synced this app with the phone so maybe if you've synced this account with your laptop when you just type in something right here it's going to pop up on your laptop and maybe you want to send a file to your laptop and then you feel like you don't have any means you are going to be able to just send it you can just go to your gallery or whatever file you want to send and then you just hit on it like this and it's basically very cool when you hit on like that and then you send it like that it's gonna pop up on your laptop and then you're gonna be able to just download it and use it for whatever you feel like you want to use it for i think that is very cool with this application so basically these are the few settings and then features you need to know so if you want to know more about this app just consider subscribing because any new updates i'm just going to share with you guys and then help you know more apps you can use for free and then every settings you need to know on every app you're going to find on this channel so subscribe to the channel don't forget to like this video share it to anyone you think this is going to be helpful to them and then without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace